Hello and welcome back to 911 Scales. My name is Michael and today we're doing another what's in the box video. We have a lot of 143 scale models to check out. We have 1118 scale and then this massive 112 scale 911R which was very kindly lent me by the same guy who also lent me the 7500 euro model car collection I already did a video on. So make sure to check out also that video if you haven't already. Yeah and with that let's make some space on the table and get right into it. All right first up this 143 scale Mission E Cross Turismo concept car which is made by Spark and is very nice. Let me get it out here. There it is. And if you're not familiar with the Mission E Cross Turismo, this is the Taycan concept, the Mission E, just as a station wagon and has this immensely wonderful panoramic roof. So this is a very nice model. There is a lot of details. And then next up, a model you maybe have already seen in another What's in the Box video. But I thought, why not show it again? It's a 911 RSR with a wonderful golf livery. One of many 911 R models of the 2018 WEC series. Looks very nice. Limited to 2018 pieces with this wonderful golf livery. And then next up the 919 hybrid from the 2017 Le Mans 24 hour race and this one is also made by Spark. I've shown it already in the other video but it is really a beautiful model and this will be nice to make a review on. Then another RSR. If you're wondering yes these are also the models from the secret Porsche sale which was my last video my last what's in the box video. And these are the models I got for myself. I haven't shown you these already, but here it is. I also got for me this wonderful Rodman's 911 RSR from the 2018 Le Mans race, which raced together with the legendary Ping Pig 911 RSR. Yeah, unfortunately, the Ping Pig was already sold out very fast but if you haven't already seen the ping pig video of the gt3 from porsche leipzig that video is definitely worthy to check out and the model i searched a long time for a miami blue 911 targa 4s and i also had it multiple times here but i always sold it because i thought ah, it's not that special but now I have so many lovely Porsche exclusive Targas and this one here is a very special Targa limited to only 400 pieces. This is not an exclusive, it's just a Miami Blue Targa 4S, but it is out of the 2016 Porsche Platz series. And this is why it's limited to only 400 pieces. As you can see it here, voila. as you can see it here, there it says October on the box with the Porsche part number indicating it's the October 2016 model. And these are very hard to get. I actually had to pay over the standard retail price for this one. So, but it's worth it. It will look very nicely together with my other Targa models. And then something which the same follower who lent me the models, he actually sold me this one. And this here is a Panamera 4E hybrid. I think this is made by Hapa. Let me check it. No, it's actually made by Mini Champs. Oh wow, didn't know about that. So this is made by Mini Champs, a Panamera, a second generation Panamera made by Mini Champs. I didn't thought they also made these from Mini Champs. I also, I always thought these were made by Hapa. Yeah, this is actually my favorite Panamera, the Sport Turismo version of the standard hybrid, not the Turbo S. That is a bit too expensive, I would say. But yeah, this is actually my favorite Panamera version. Maybe one of my favorite modern Porsches. But the time with the Taycan changed a lot for me. <laughs> and if you haven't checked out the Taycan videos, also make sure to do so. Then another Mini Champs model, Cayenne Turbo. Ah, oh, that's cool. This also has some sort of concept art in the background of it, looking very cool. So this really isn't anything hugely special. It's just a Cayenne Turbo. And this is also made by Minichamps, not by Norev, like the Cayenne Coupes. 
And yeah, but it looks also very nice. It has big panoramic roof so we can look inside. Two 143 scale models left. We have another RSR, the Dempsey Racing, the Proton Racing, a racing team from Patrick Dempsey, this very famous actor and Porsche, absolute Porsche freak. Oh, and then unfortunately we have the damaged, we have a cracked display case. Let me show it to you. There it is in the front. Yeah, that is unfortunate. But yeah, I haven't noticed it so far and now it's too late. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> my bad. All right, this is a Proton Racing, also a very nice model. And I think I have to switch off the display case. But yeah, the last 143 scale model is a very green Boxster. This is also a Porsche exclusive model car, a very old one. I think this is from 2015 or 2016. This is the old 981 Boxster. Yeah, and this Boxster S here is the old of the 981 generation. This is actually very cool. This is, I think, in Viper Green and has an exceptionally detailed interior. And this will make a very nice review. This one is dripping in details and I am very happy to have it again. Because these are also limited to only 500 pieces. All right, these were all the 143 scale models which are new to my Porsche model car collection. So we have a Cayenne from Mini Champs, a Panamera from Mini Champs. The rest is, I think, yeah, the rest is all made by Spark. Boxster S exclusive, Viper Green, Proton Racing Edition, 911 RSR, Miami Blue, Targa 4S, the 919 of the 2017 Le Mans race, the Rodmans and the Gulf 911 RSR, and then here, the Mission E Cross Turismo. All right, then let's open up the 118 scale model. And here it is, another Cayenne Turbo. And I think this is exactly the same specification as the 143 scale model. And if you like content like this, by the way, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. So this one here is made by Spark. This is not made by Mini Champs. And it's a very, very big one. Look at the size of this 118 scale model. Whoops, sorry. This is a huge one. Well, the Cayenne is a very big car and this is in moonlight blue metallic. So a very, very dark blue. This is not black. And also this one has a panoramic roof. So this will also be very cool to look inside in the review. And yeah, then finally, let's grab the 112 scale 911R. Oh, by the way, this one is limited to a thousand pieces. So the same number as the Cayenne Coupe I reviewed by Nuref. All right, the 112. It is a heavy one. Let me say it like this. Here it is, 112 scale. A huge scale, let me tell you that. This one is limited to 500 pieces. So this is a very, very high number for a 112 scale model. These are hugely expensive when they came out. And nowadays these 911Rs trade for only 300 euros, maybe even less. And this is made by Spark. It is absolutely massive. And I really like how they done the plate. Well, this here actually resembles carbon fiber. If you're remembering the 919 Hybrid Evo I reviewed, that one just had a black plate. This one here looks way nice. I have this carbon reef here. It is a white plate. And then the plate here, the limitation plaque is actually screwed on there. Or at least it looks like these are screws, but I think these are actually screws. Looks very nice with the 911R logo here. And yeah, specification pretty much standard. We have carbon mirrors, the red stripes, we have Pipipta in the interior. And the yeah, only thing to criticize, the wheels are only black. Um, the standard spec, the launch spec had silver wheels. These I think would look a bit better. But yeah, this is huge. And I'm so thankful to my good friend again for lending me this model to make a review of it. And I can only encourage you to check out the review of his 7,500 euro collection he has lent me. 
this was only a small part of his complete collection. I only took the most special models and it will take me ages to do all the reviews of these models. So make sure to check out that video. It's 46 minutes long, I think, but it's very worth it. 90 models in total. And yeah, this was this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. And yeah, that's it for now. Tune in next time when we're exploring the Porsche World in 900 when 11 scales. Ciao.